Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear all. This is Zakirullah, lecturer medical laboratory technology. Today we will learn about the colorimeters which are used to measure any coloring substance in a solution. Usually it is measured in a chemical laboratory. So introduction of a colorimeter is that it is an instrument which measures the intensity of color which is produced in a solution by a coloring substance the simple white light it is a part of a visible spectrum which is a continuous spectrum this visible spectrum is a mixture of energy waves and they have the range of 400 to 700 nanometers the violet color has the shortest wavelength that is the 400 nanometer and the red color has the longest wavelength which is 700 nanometer we can see in this diagram this uh, about the 400 nanometer this is the visible spectrum this is the spot and the range from where the visible spectrum starts and this is the range where it ends so in between this 400 to 700 nanometer it is a visible spectrum and we can see all the colors which falls in this wavelength range the ultraviolet it uh, starts at 400 nanometer and below 400 nanometer ultraviolet starts and after 700 nanometer there is a zone called the infrared and the invisible range starts below 400 nanometer and after 700 nanometer so these are the ranges where we cannot see any kind of color or we our eyes cannot detect the wavelength of these areas so the wavelength of the visible uh, spectrum that is separated by a glass prism or a water droplets in the air this white light then separates into seven different colors these colors are violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red uh, simply we can call it the web gear and uh, in the visible spectrum most of the colors they are composed uh, of a range of wavelengths not uh, they are not a, of a single wavelength but they are composed of a range of wavelength the light of a single wavelength is called a monochromatic light and it shows us and it gives us a single color Complementary colors, these are different pair of colors and these colors are opposite to each other. When these colors are combined in a certain specific ratio, they either gives rise to the white light or they gives us dark shade or gray shade. So these colors are called complementary colors. For example, red and green are the complementary colors of each other if uh, a solution is green and when we illuminate green light and focus in on the green solution then to the that will be transmitted from the solution and no light will be absorbed by it that's why it is called complementary colors and if the same light the same green light it is focused on a red solution then the solution will absorb all the green light and no light rays they will be transmitted these are called the complementary colors in uh, this uh, we can see the different colors which are complementary to each other the violet that is complementary to yellow blue is complementary color of orange green is complementary of red and the same vice versa colorimetry it is the measurement of a solution color intensity and the colored solution 
they absorb different lights of a specific wavelength and these wavelengths may be in the visible spectrum the calorimetry is a most common analytical technique which is used in biochemical laboratory and clinical laboratory for the estimation of different solutes and different analytes in a colored solution and that substance which is to be estimated by the calorimeter it must be uh, colored or if any chromogen is added to it so this solution and the analytes of the solution they will give rise to they will produce another uh, color so calorimetry uh, needs a colored solution the colored substance that absorb light in relation to their intensity that the color intensity it is directly proportional to the absorbance of the light the increased in concentration of the solution and the color intensity it shows that it will absorb more light the more it is colored the more it is concentrated and the more it will absorb the light the color intensity that is proportional to the concentration of the colored substances and the instrument for the calorimetry purpose that is called the calorimeter or photometer or absorptometer coming to the principle of calorimeter that what is the principle on which calorimeter works it works on a principle that when a monochromatic light passes through a colored solution then some of specific wavelength of light is absorbed by their solution and that absorbance is related to the intensity of color and the amount of color that is absorbed or transmitted by that solution that is uh, in accordance with the two laws that is the beers and the lambert law in this uh, picture we can see that that this is the light that is hit the solution this is the colored solution and this is the path length the length where the solution is present and this is the light which is transmitted from the solution the beer lambert's law it states that the absorbance of a solution is directly proportional to its concentration and the length of the light path that when a white light it is focused on a solution then the light absorbed that is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution that if a solution is more concentrated then more light will be absorbed and less light that will be transmitted and the second thing is that the path length it also affects the absorbance of the solution the more the path length the more light will be absorbed the light transmitted through a colored solution that is uh, uh, decreases exponentially with the increase in the concentration of colored solution and increase in the length uh, path length of the cubit this is the formula from where we can find out the concentration of an analyte which is present in a colored solution this is the graph which shows us the beer lambert's law and the above we have the absorbance and it is plotted against the concentration we can see that when the absorbance is increases the concentration is also increased so this shows us that absorbance is directly proportional to the concentration of the solution and in the lower one we can see the percent transmittance and the concentration in this graph it shows us that uh, the amount of transmitted 
percent transmittance it decreases along with the increasing concentration of the solution the instruments which are used to read absorbance these are called the colorimeter and the spectrophotometer colorimeter is uh, an instrument which is used for the absorbance of a solution and absorbance can be measured only within a specific wavelength ranges these colorimeters have filters which are being used to obtain required wavelength range another instrument which is used to read the absorbance is the spectrophotometer and these machines they read the absorbance with a specific wavelength and it is used when test required reading a specific wavelength spectrophotometer they are more expensive as compared to colorimeter and requires greater expertise and a continuous electric supply the components of colorimeter they include the light source light source convert electrical energy into radiation and waves the light source it is made up of a tungsten filament or a tungsten halogen or quartz them and this source they emits a, a continuous spectrum of light the condensing lens it is present in front of light after a slit when light strikes on the lens after the slit these lens makes the beam of light parallel to each other and in a straight line the third part is the filter the filter separates different parts of electromagnetic waves by absorbing or reflecting certain wavelengths and transmit others we have different colors of uh, we have different types of filters that are being installed in the colorimeter the first one is called the color filter this filter these are made up of glass substance and contain different absorbing substances they are made up of two layers of thin glasses in which a gelatin colored material it is sandwiched in between the two thin glasses and this material they absorb certain specific wavelength and release or transmit the other wavelengths these are the color filters the interference filters they are made up of dielectric thin films which are present on a substance these interference filters they selectively transmit or reflect a specific range of wavelength so we can select a specific range of wavelength with these interference filters these are the different colors with their specific wavelength range red have about 600 to 680 to 700 nanometer orange 600 round about yellow 580 green 500 to 520 blue 460 to 480 violet 410 to 430 these are the ranges of wavelength of different colors the sample cuvettes these cuvettes are tubes or cups having a standard bore and a standard wall thickness and these are usually colorless and made up of high quality glasses or high quality plastic their shape may be square rectangular or round and having a fixed diameter usually round about 1 cm and their surface is uniform they do not have uneven or photocell or photo multiplier tube it is a photosensitive device that trans that converts the transmitted light into electrical current and the amplitude of the current is proportional to the amount of 
light that is transmitted. The last part of the calorimeter that is the galvanometer. This galvanometer measures the amount of current produced by the photocell and it is calibrated according to the color's intensity. The galvanometer have two scale usually. The one scale is called the absorbance and the another is the transmittance or the person transmitters. And the output of photocell it can also be directed and connected to a digital display which shows us the transmittance or absorbance of a solution. This is a colorimeter and the different parts here we can see this is a display. These are the up down button from where we can adjust our specific wavelength. And here is the sample cubit where we place our sample inside it. This is the on off button. So this is the general uh, purpose colorimeter. The components of colorimeter include the absorbance readout and the wavelength and the mode indicators this shows us the mode and the mode buttons increase or decrease button the wavelength control which uh, sets us a specific wavelength this is the 100 percent transmission control this is the on off or zero control so this is a sample holder these are the parts or the components of calorimeter this is the path where the light is transmitted and the output is galvanometer so initially a light source made up of tungsten or halogen or quartz it transmits a simple white light of visible spectrum in between in the path of this light source there is a slit and this slit allows only date radiations which are uh, in the direction of the cubit then a lens is present which straightens and which makes the radiation parallel to each other after the lens there is a filter and this filter this allows only a light of specific wavelength that is called the monochromatic light and this monochromatic light have a range of a specific wavelength this light when strike this sample cubit which have the colored solution this colored solution absorb certain radiations and transmit certain light so the transmitted light it is striked with the photocell this photocell this converts the light energy into electric current and this electric current it is given in the form of person transmittance or absorbance by this output or galvanometer so this is the light path and this is the working of a calorimeter